Welcome back to Dave the Diver. So, it is time guys. It is shark party time. Let us get it on. Now we have a nice selection of dishes on the menu. All shark related. Uh, unfortunately we don't have any sea grapes to make that guy's dish. Which is a damn shame. Let's hope he'll come back. Okay, in the meantime, let's just serve these customers. Do what we can. Oh dear. Uh, so yellow, blue, yellow. Oh god, that was bad. That was bad. Oh dear, like what is going on? I'm just dropping the ball today. Okay, but we have made, as expected, an absolute killing. Okay, regrettably, my um, cocktail making skills weren't up to scratch, but everything else was, yeah, stellar. And over nine grand profit, I mean, that is, that's just great. Yeah, we failed Stormy Night 2, but, you know, don't really care too much about that. But more importantly... First of all, today's a VIP visit day. And our crops are grown. So let's just check our crops quickly. But yeah, more importantly... As I have uh, managed to murder death kill... Oh, sweet! We got an egg and a grade A egg. Well, that is brilliant. Yeah, the grade A eggs are, like, legendary status. So we will get them if we can. Uh, let's water these plants. And maybe drop some other stuff. Like so. And then just uh, rinse and repeat, you know how it is. Oh. Nope. There we go, okay. Yes, so one of the things we can do now, we're gonna go back to the restaurant, because we're finally doing it. We can finally upgrade this restaurant yeah, the cook staff. So let's get all of our likes. Okay, here we go. We've done it. We've done the best taste. We had, uh, we've, we've murdered enough of those poor sharks to uh, get a, an item up past the 250 range. So now we can finally rank up to platinum. Let's do it. Bancho, it's well deserved. Long overdue and well deserved. Boom! There it is! Platinum rating. Awesome stuff. We have new recipes. Excellent. We have more. We have greater whack max wasabi and a greater amount cooking slot. Oh yeah, this, this is good. This is very good. <laughs> Look, best taste for diamond 375. Come on. I mean, come on. I'm confident we can get that many followers, but just... Oh, that's that's a crazy one now. But yeah, well well done to us. Okay, looks like we can upgrade our weapon. Let's, uh... Oh, no, the sniper rifle. We don't care about that. We do not care about that, but... Let's, uh... Let's just see, has that added anything? So, yeah, I think that gives us... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven... Yeah, oh yeah, an additional menu slot, that's awesome. 
more things that can be sold and more things that can be researched. Seahorse udon, nice. Black vinegar braised parrotfish, I mean, oh, nice. But yeah, we are we are doing very, very well. Uh, go on, let's feed the cat. Gotta feed the cat. Obligatory in my playthrough. Momo looks pleased. He's usually fickle, but he seems to like you. But... What? Something wrong? He disappears every night. I see, maybe he made a new friend. I don't know. Let me know if you see Momo at night. Um, okay. Anyhow, we're gonna get back out there and uh, start doing some fishing. Um, in fact, I'm... Uh, I'm gonna do a time skip. I don't think I've done a time skip yet. <laughs> Dave just has a day off. Well, yeah, come on. It was much needed, wasn't it? Much needed, much deserved. And now all our crops are grown. We've got all the, the ingredients for our VIP, so that is cool. Uh, let's see what can we purchase here. Let's check Eye Diver. So yeah, we can we can definitely start upgrading some of the stuff. Um, the salvage drone. We don't care too much about that. The cargo box. I've just upgraded this here, but as you guys can, well, I haven't actually made use of it to its max. But I'm thinking the air tank, because where we're going to be going now, having just that little bit more in the old air tank would be most useful. Okay, and what happy crops we have. Lots of wheat. Lots and lots of good stuff. Uh, let's get some more seeds. Cherry tomato seeds, onion seeds, nice. Oh yeah, we're getting some of these. Bean seeds, yes please. I mean, honestly guys, this game, when did, it, when did this game become a farming sim? Like, it just, it really got us with that one, didn't it? I'm gonna put an... Onion seed here. There we go. Okay, let's head back to the sushi place. So today is the big day of the VIP visit. So let's check it out. I mean, we can do this. We will do this. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Today is the day we've all been waiting for. With whose victory will this long-standing conflict end? Bancho, are you ready? Yes. Pastro? Sono pronto. Let's get it started. Excellent. Then let's begin. Challenge the chef now. Okay, to my Italian viewers out there, apologies. I will be absolutely butchering this poor guy's accent. Here we go. Okay, time to prepare the squid, let's go. Okay. Alright, that was good. Prepare the shrimp, let's go. What's the shrimp? Ooh. 
Um. Perfect. Okay. Well done. Add the ingredients to the frying pan. Let's go. Um. What am I doing? What? Like what? What? what what's going on? I, I I don't get what it wants me to do. Oh, I see. I see. I see. Okay, pour the squid ink. Okay. I, I I wasn't sure what it wanted me to do. Okay. There we go. Let's keep it going. Okay, well done. Mix ingredients with the squid ink. Let's go. Uh, this is, um, okay. Alright, well done. And the pasta noodles, let's go, we can do this, come on. Um, okay. We can do this. We can do this. Let's get these pasta noodles going. Come on. Almost. Almost there. Voila. Hmm. Alright. Who's going to get it? We did mess up on one of them. But I think maybe we can do it. Mm, there it is. <laughs> the Italian thing. Wow, that's like the lowest score I've ever gotten, I think. Well done to us. Mamma mia, I can't believe it. I, Pastro Anto Giovanni, can't uh, defeat it in a pasta contest? I can't accept the judge's call. This show is lame and not worth my time. Horrible. Oh dear. Hmm. That guy is hot tempered. His carbonara was fantastic, though. It was unbeatable. I like the combination of salty guanciale and soft yolk sauce. It was heavenly. Then why didn't he win, Vincent? Come on. Miss Lois, do you know why squid ink is used in dishes? <laughs> what? Isn't that for the color? Why bother making the color like that, though? Mm. Not really, Miss Lois. Yeah. The visual is only a part of the reason. Squid ink is reminiscent of the taste of nature's seawater. Um. When I tasted Bancho's pasta, I saw the dark and quiet sea. Mm. Black pasta. And nocturnal sea creatures dotting the black sea. I felt like diving into the dark, quiet sea naked at night. Why naked, though? Tastiness is a very subjective experience, after all. Even for a critic like myself, it's never easy to be objective. I like the taste of both dishes equally. However, I gave more points to Banjo for this near-perfect representation of the theme in every nook and cranny of his dish. Your reasoning is so absurd. You do know who is the biggest sponsor of your program, don't you? I do know. Hmm. Noel Crawford, the chairman of the BNC group, who is your father. He's also my sensei. You know my father personally? How is that possible? Okay, we're gonna get some more backstory here. When I was young, I worked at your father's restaurant in New York. Back then, I was nothing but an inexperienced apprentice cook. I was lucky to be hired by your father. He's got his sunglasses. My first job was cooking omelets. 
Ooh. Although egg is a pretty common ingredient, it is one of the hardest to master. Oh. It's very hard to time the perfect moment to flip the omelette in a frying pan. I was struggling to figure that out. Oh. And... Ooh. Someone tapped my shoulder with a smile on his face. Oh. It was your father, Noel Crawford. He kindly taught me when and how to better flip the egg. He, the restaurant owner, didn't mind spending his precious time teaching a new hire. His passion and creativity toward food were truly inspirational. He was always looking for new tastes and experimented with new recipes. He failed more times than I can remember, but he would succeed in the end. I see. He is now an entrepreneur of a large corporation, but I believe his passion would never change. I can feel it. Miss Lois, why don't you try Bancho's pasta yourself? Huh. Well, if you insist. Here we go. Oh man, it's all coming back to her. Her underwater spying acting days. <sighs> I admit, I was prejudiced. This pasta is incredible. It's not just the visual, it carries the natural flavor of each ingredient. And I criticize his dish without even trying it. I'm not worthy to be a restaurant critic. <laughs> Don't blame yourself. We just have a different philosophy about food. Oh. Bancho, I know it's a rather abrupt offer, but mm. would you be interested in opening a branch? <laughs> a branch? Oh. Yes, another Bancho sushi. Mm. Clearly, there are many people who don't understand your food philosophy. <laughs> but if they taste your food at least once, they will wake up to a new dimension of food. I want them to have that mind-blowing opportunity. Oh. But your current restaurant is too small. Mm. It's big enough for me. Mm. Your restaurant is already widely known. People will visit your place in droves sooner or later. Oh. You need to be prepared to maintain the quality of the food you serve. Mm. But if he opens a branch, it would be harder for him to control the food quality. Mm. He has staff members who sincerely follow his philosophy, right? Oh. They can be the manager of the branch. Mm. Manager, you say? Don't worry, trust your staff. They know what to do to live up to the reputation you built. Mm. Trust your staff and let more people taste your food. Mm. But I don't have a management system and funds to open a branch yet. <laughs> that I can help you with. <laughs> I know how to operate a franchise. I am well educated in that matter by my father. I have the skills and money needed. Oh. And I won't ask anything in return. Consider this your reward for winning the contest. <laughs> well, I am not sure if this is right. Bancho sushi without me? Pancho, I think you should give it a try. This will be a good challenge for the staff to grow further. Uh, if that's what everyone thinks, I have no other choice. Okay, I will open a branch. What am I supposed to do though? Order wooden planks or something? Don't worry about the construction. BNC Company will take care of it. You just name the manager and decide what to serve with what ingredients, Pancho. Well, it's about time for the night shift. The construction will be completed by tomorrow morning. She must be kidding. Anyway, I realized that I was close-minded about new approaches to food. I apologize for my poor review of your dish in the past. From now on, I will help you spread your food far and wide. I will contact you again when the branch is ready for business. Say what? So Bancho's gonna franchise? Trick or sushi? Wow. Wow, we have... I mean, damn. Okay, and, and we have yet to uh, open up. God damn. Okay, well. Um, I'm thinking maybe we can... Yeah, just up our guys a bit. Like, heck, we've got the money. It's only 600.
Um, Tohoku. Oh, oh wait, I didn't want to do that. Okay, Tohoku has got plus plus. He's oh, you know, he's brilliant. Um, what about Maki? No. Oh, no, no, I don't want to remove her. Do not remove Maki. I, I want to upgrade her. Uh, yeah, go on. Let's upgrade her. <laughs> Chef Ramsay. Gordon Ramsay. Uh, okay, we'll leave her as is. Kyoko. Uh, let's upgrade her. And, oh, she'll always get tips as well. Yeah, let's put her up to level 7. I mean, come on, she is that good. Uh, yep. Okay, and Billy. If Billy could serve drinks as well, that would be great. Let's see. Um, no, not quite. Let's try again. Come on, Billy. God damn, still no skills. Let's try again. Come on. Clean up the messy seat quickly. Ooh, this could be good. Yeah, I like that, actually. Have someone, like, doing some tidying up. Okay, let's yeah, go for that. Awesome. Awesome stuff. Um, Maki, what else can... No, she's, she's okay. She's okay as she is. Anyhow, let us... Yeah, let's, uh, let's get to it. Let's open the menu and uh, get to selling. Okay, let's open the sushi place. Get to serving. Mr. Uh, Mr. Sale, Mr. An alcoholic Beverage Sale. We're doing all right. Uh, blue. Okay, not too bad. Not too bad. And uh, yeah, decent run of sales as well. Boom. Okay, what's uh, what's happening now? Oh, it's the cat. Mm. The sound is. Mm. Yep, it's Momo's meow. Mm. I should follow him. We have to like not get caught, right? No, no. <laughs>
Oh my days, I don't believe this. We're, we're following this cat. Oh! Oh! They are Momo's kitten! Momo got a baby! Oh, that's great! Oh, it's nothing. I was just. Oh, Momo likes us. Oh, well done. Yeah, so that explains it. Hmm, three cats. Momo got new family members. Oh, lovely. Let them stay here. There's lots of food around. Dave, help me take care of the cats. Sure, Bancho Sushi will have more mews. <laughs> Okay, we got to know Momo a little better. Well done. Momo's secret. Okay, what's Dr. Bacon got to say? Phew, I barely managed to cut it. It's very thick and tough. It is large enough now for a person to go through. Come down here when you're ready. Finally, I'm in the control room. It's common sense to clear all the missions before fighting the boss in an RPG. This is not an RPG game, but being overly prepared doesn't hurt. Okay, that is the game basically saying we're going to final dungeon time now. Oh, Lois? Ah, Miss Lois? No. The branch is ready for business. <laughs> that quickly? Uh. Hmm. The administrative abil agility of the BNC group is the top in the industry. Mm. Visit the branch with Bancho. I will see you there. Damn. Um, okay. Well, yeah, it looks like this is it then. It's a... So we go to the branch. Oh, this is the branch? The place gives off a tropical vibe. Mm. Not exactly my taste, but it blends in well with the surrounding environment. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, actually. I'm guessing this is just another skin that we could have had for our particular restaurant. <laughs> ho ho, this is a time-proven theme for restaurants on the beach. Mm. Let me explain how to run your branch. Obviously, you need staff members to run your business. Mm. Open the staff menu below. You need at least three staff members to run the store. Mm. Hmm, do I need that many? <sighs> yes, because neither you nor Dave will be there at the branch. Mm. So you need to hire a branch, you need to hire a manager to supervise the business there. And of course, you need to staff the dining area and kitchen as well, just like at the HQ. Mm. That is why you need a minimum of three staff members to open and run the branch. Hmm, a manager? Mm. Right, the manager is the most important. Uh. It's because the number of ingredients available and the number of customers depend on the stats of your manager. It is best to appoint a staff member with the highest stats to the manager position. Mm. Oh, if I appoint a manager, they will run the business on their own? Uh. Nope, your manager cannot run the business against the operation policy of the HQ. Cup. You need to set an operation policy to give guidance to the manager, according to which the manager will prepare the menu appropriately. So I could instruct the manager what to serve if I see fit, right? Like expensive dishes or dishes with the most ingredients first? Yes, exactly. Let's talk about ingredients. Open the ingredient menu below. The grade of your manager determines the ingredients used at the branch. Check the ingredients currently available and predict the sales revenue. Well, it seems like there are no ingredients at the branch at the moment. No. That's because it's not open yet. You can bring ingredients from the HQ or the fish farm at any time. Mm. Would you click uh, the deliver button below? Mm. You can send or receive ingredients from here. As I said earlier, your manager cannot use ingredients whose grade is higher than theirs. Okay. 
Uh, right, to be honest, I'm not entirely sure what I'm doing here. Adjust the quality, so let's... Let's go with two. Oh, max is one. Wait, so... Wait, which, which one's ours? I'll go with one. Send a, gr a first grade egg to the branch, okay. Alright. I'm sure that you now understand what to do with the brunch. Bwahaha! I now own a second restaurant! That means twice the revenue! Only if you run it su successfully, I might add. We will see how it goes, okay? Let more people experience your culinary revolution. I'm sure they will love your recipes. Okay. The branch of Bancho Sushi is now open. Assign a manager and employees to the branch and send the required ingredients to run the business automatically. Wow. And Miss Lois has been added as a contact. So, let's take a look at the stuff. So, a branch manager, who have we got? We're gonna have to hire. Why don't we have a branch... How, how do we... how do we hire? I suppose we're just gonna have to, um... Yeah, hire people the old-fashioned fashion way, right? Huh. Okay. Um... No, I can't hire people here, can I? No, can I? No, no, no. Hmm. Okay, well, I think we're gonna have to go back to HQ and uh, take a look there. I mean, yeah, we, we can't really do anything. We're gonna, basically we're gonna need everything. A manager, kitchen staff, and a dining area staff. Okay, but yeah, the, I mean, this looks pretty cool. The only thing, though, is, like, we are categorically in late-game territory here. So, like, why are we unlocking the stuff now? The cucumber Olix. Well, not everyone loves cucumber. In fact, I don't like cucumber either. I can't stand the smell. There are many recipes that use fresh cucumber. Anyway, they're hosting an event around here. I need to be prepared to boost revenue that day. Okay. By the way, have I seen any cucumber at the farm? Oh, yeah. I should go ask Otto. Okay, so there's now a cucumber party thing as well. Uh, we might as well check in with Otto quickly. Damn, there's a lot of stuff uh, going on. Okay, another egg. I will take it. Yeah, so I mean, this some um, this branch stuff. I I think it's uh, it's cool and all, but um, I do, I do feel it's a bit late game for it, to be honest. Damn, what's going on here? Nothing but weeds. Did we not? Did we fail to water these things? All right, let's uh, let's prop some proper stuff down. Some beans. No, actually, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We need to ask Otto about the cucumbers, don't we? Uh, I'm not seeing any, so let's just talk. Oh. Otto, can you grow cucumbers in your pas in your patches? Cucumber? Why would anyone want to grow something that tastes that horrible? Cucumber does not taste horrible. It's a, f it's, it has a fresh aftertaste. I don't understand. It's neither nutritious nor delicious. I do have some cucumber seeds, though. If you really want them, I will add them to the list. Okay, let's prep a cucumber party. Yeah, let's uh, pr let's get a few. Like so, and everyone gets some water. Et voila. Okay, and while that's going on, 
I uh, believe it's time to head back out and head to the control room. Yeah, done, done all the stuff here. So, um... Hang on, actually... Uh, no, no, let, yeah, let's, let's head to the control room. Okay, do we need anything here? Trigger bomb trap. A decoy doll. Go on, let's get the decoy doll. I never actually got one of these. And anything we can do, an eye diver. I mean, we're pretty good here, actually. Yeah, I think we're pretty good. Let's uh, let's call it a day, or let, let, let's go down there. Let's head to the control room. Yikes, the ground is rumbling again. It's getting more intense. I should quickly go to the control room. Yes, we should. And I mean, that, that is where we're going anyway. So yeah, let's, uh, let's do it. Now, you'll be able to go in. I feel hot air coming up from inside. Well, that is not a good sign. Be careful. Oh man, if there's like a freaking dragon in there, that is not gonna be fun. 